Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different. Uh, it is going to be a part of my wish list series that I sometimes post here. Um, that means today we will be talking about all of the cream cheek products that are currently on uh, my wish list. Now, there was quite a lot. <laughs> And it's probably gonna take me years to even get uh, through this list and you know what it's only getting longer so if you're interested in seeing what I have on my wish list then just keep on watching as a side note I had just purchased the Natasha Denona mini star palette and it is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes at the moment I am going to be filming three looks one palette with this it's so gorgeous so yeah basically my Natasha Denona palette journey has begun anyway going back to the essence of this video uh, I am first going to start off with cream highlighters I'm actually going to move a little bit to the side so that I can post pictures here I only have three uh, cream highlighters cream slash liquid you know not powder highlights basically that I would like to try and uh, the first one is the Dominique Cosmetics skin uh, gloss um, it's it looks just looks so pretty it the actual consistency of the product seems like the perfect type for me i do like a good cream um cream consistency liquids are not something that you know i'm that much into but a cream that looks like glass just sounds like absolute uh, perfection Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Highlight Wand. The reason why I want this one is because of how subtle it is. Um, I think for like a no makeup makeup day or on mature skin, I think that will just look gorgeous. And you know, I do plan to go to makeup school eventually. So I think having this in my collection and trying it out and possibly having it in my kit would be something that uh you know i need to plan for and i think that's why i would love to try out uh, this product and then the third and last high cream highlighter that i would like to have in my collection is any color pop super shock highlighters now i own the on the cusp highlighter which is limited edition and it's not available anymore i have huge pan on it and yeah whenever i run out of this one i will be replacing it with another uh, super shock highlighter because i just love the way that they look on the skin they are so malleable and you know you don't need to apply a lot and you can apply a lot if you want but you don't need to they just look really really uh glossy on the skin so yeah i just need to have at least one at all times in my collection in terms of uh bronzers i don't have that many bronzers either i have four not three four four cream slash liquid uh, bronzers that I would like to try out. The first one is the Huda Tantor bronzer. Now, this has been on my wish list the day, from the day that it has released. I am so close to finishing up my stick uh, contour from, what's that company's name, Laritzi, that I just cannot wait to finish that up so that I can purchase the Huda one. This is the one that I will be purchasing next. Um, and I can't wait. It is more of a, uh, as far as I know from what the reviews that I've uh, seen, it's a more full coverage um, bronzer. You don't need a lot and it's very blendable. Uh, the shade range is really, really good as well. So yeah, I do really want to try that one. Next up is the Fenty Cream uh, Bronzer. This one is supposed to be a little bit more natural, which is, you know, I like to have a variety of those kind of products in my collection where I, uh, you know, have something full coverage, but then have something medium or light coverage just to kind of, you know, balance things out. And this is the one that would actually serve that uh, purpose. Um, and yeah, I just like the color that I think uh, the one that I would get is Butter Biscuit. And yeah, it just looks beautiful. It looks so like clean and so just juicy on the skin that I, you know, I really would really like to have that in my collection. Next up is a classic. And, you know, I 
who would I be? What kind of booty guru would I be if I didn't mention this one? Uh, the Milk Cream Bronzer. Now, if I would get this, I would probably only get it in the mini because the full size has 28 grams of product. That is way too much for any one person to even go through. And, you know, if I ever got the full size i probably would never have to buy another cream bronzer and i'm not about that life guys i'm not about the life so i probably would only get the mini uh but it's a classic it's it looks so beautiful i just i've seen like people are starting to kind of hype it up again because of how cream products are getting more popular and you know this is just a classic and i would really want to uh try that and the third or uh, the fourth the final product that uh, uh, that's on my wish list in terms of bronzers is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand now I don't necessarily have it when I use up my Laurette stick I wouldn't necessarily have a contouring cream product uh, the Huda Tantor one is a little bit more warm tor toned uh, so it would be nice to have something specifically made for uh, contouring because I do like to chisel out my cheeks as you can see you know my face is more kind of round uh, so you know it's nice to have something to kind of you know just kind of snatch things up and I think that would be so so beautiful again it's very light lightweight very blendable which means it would work perfectly on clients or on mature skin so yeah it's something that i would definitely definitely look into okay and the last uh category is the blush and i am so embarrassed to say because there is one two three four five six seven nine nine ten ten cream blushes that i would like to try i know 10 I'm, I'm crazy when will i ever use them up but anyway the first one is the flower balm blush balm now i've heard that people are kind of changing their opinions on this one because you know a lot of people have tried out the formulas that the blush balm is a little bit more transparent a little bit more kind of um easy to work with great for beginners you know it's super blendable almost blends into nothing so with this one i'm kind of on the fence after hearing some of these newer reviews uh however i kind of still want to try it for myself but i'm 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 worried that i'll be disappointed so i was thinking if i don't get this one i think i would get the glossier um blush cloud paint that's what it's called right um because people seem to love that one still after so many years and after so many new releases people just seem to love the um, cloud paint a little bit more so i'm kind of on the fence about this one either the cloud paint or the blush balm I have to, I would probably have to think about that one. Or both, you know, why not? Both. I could do that, right? And then maybe do a comparison. That's an idea. You guys, look at my friend here. Are you famous yet? Of course you are. Of course she's famous, right? Don't mind that. That was just a... A blanket her blanket drying actually so yeah sorry if you saw that okay I think I'm situated now uh, anyway I hope you enjoy this little break and uh, next up is the Fenty cream uh, blush again obviously the colors are just amazing all like they're just so pretty they're so different that orange or that freaking hot pink now I probably would go for something more natural <laughs> you know for something more neutral but that's just me being you know a uh, basic bitch and just loving all the neutral stuff so yeah but i would really want to have that in my collection and next up is the mac glow play <laughs> so these are like the consistency of them is so unique because it's like a bouncy cream to powder sort of texture so i would love to try that i know the bobby brown ones the bounce and blur 
are supposed to be similar but I think the packaging and everything just kind of pulls me in more from MAC so I would probably go ahead and buy the uh, MAC ones they have really beautiful kind of natural-ish colors as well so you know it's just up my alley and that texture is so unique I, it's nothing that I have in my collection at the moment not like I have a lot but still you know it would be something really interesting uh, to try next up are the Dominique Cosmetics blush balms oh they look so beautiful again just so juicy and I, I think glowy I, I think they're matte ish but you know it's just that the way that they look in the actual compact it just pulls me in instantly uh so yeah i would probably go ahead and at least buy just one although i have been disappointed in the dominique cosmetics letter 2 palette that's why i was kind of holding off on actually buying anything from uh, them but those highlighters and those blushes look absolutely stunning next up is the nars air matte uh, blush i haven't tried a lot of things from uh, nars i only tried their um eye primer which i absolutely love it would be one that i would repurchase over and over and over and over again uh, so i would like to kind of expand my knowledge of nars and the product that i would like to you know try next is that blush it seems like the most beautiful airbrushed so sort of um look that just looks so beautiful and kind of you know even on the skin plus the application method is a little bit different it is in a pot so you know again it's something more unique to add to my uh collection next up is actually an irish um brand the so so blush sticks now she came out with two new ones two highlight sticks two blush sticks the highlight sticks not so much the colors seem a bit dark for my white ass face but the actual blushes look so stunning. Now, she has beautiful colors, either a pink or a peach. And I just don't know which one I would buy. And they're so cheap. They're $14.95. So, you know, they're on the more inexpensive side, which is cool. So maybe I might buy both. I don't know. But it's something that I would like to, you know, have in my collection. Because she's an Irish brand. And, you know, I've liked-ish some of her products that I've tried so I don't think I would be disappointed in this one I don't know I think it would be kind of hard to fuck up a blush stick anyway next up is a sort of newish product I think it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks uh, this just looks so interesting a mousse sort of texture super pigmented fun colors again like with this one because it's kind of more on the affordable side I could afford to purchase a color that you know i probably wouldn't usually purchase you know to have like a fun one it like just one in my collection so yeah plus you know they look really nice they dry down matte ish um they have a mousse texture look flawless on the skin just beautiful in general next up obviously i i don't think i have to say this but the color pop super shocks super shock blushes I love the Super Shock formula. It is the best formula Colourpop has ever come out with. And as much as I love the highlighters, I would love to try out the blushes as well. The colours that they have are so beautiful. Plus the texture seems, uh, you know, more on the interesting side. You know, is it going to be... I just want to try it for myself. Is it going to be easy to apply with a brush? Is it going to be easier to apply with the sponge? Like, or with my fingers? Uh, it's just that oh it's so intriguing that's the word that i'm looking for that formula is just so intriguing that uh, yeah, i need to have it in the blush form as well next up is another thing from colourpop it is the colourpop blush sticks uh this is one of their newer ish formulas i like blushes in the stick form because of how easy it is to apply them just swipe on blend it out with a brush or a beauty blender and you're good to go uh you can either have you know a more matte formula or with more shimmers and uh, you know colourpop i think is the best sort of um company to try something like this out from because they're inexpensive and they have a, a variety of colors to choose from the last product that i would like to talk about are the new abh blush sticks <gasps> have you seen how beautiful 
Have you seen? Have you seen how beautiful she is? <laughs> have you seen how beautiful they look? <gasps> they look so pretty. The packaging, the colors themselves, they just look very glass-like, very skin-like. Uh, just kind of the kind of consistency that you know you might think would just blend out by itself and look absolutely stunning on the skin. This is what I think when I see the ABH blush sticks. Now, granted, I might be wrong because I actually haven't seen anyone use them. And yeah, I just want to try for myself, you know. I like doing stuff like that, just trying shit out for myself and then either love it or be disappointed. I don't care. But they just look so, so creamy and um, so natural as well. Really, really beautiful. Now, my dog is being annoying here we go but yeah that completes today's video here are all of the products that uh all of the cream slash liquid cheek products that i would like to try out in the near future now i for sure know that i will be able to try out at the uh Huda tan tour that's one of the things and possibly the charlotte tilbury highlight wand because i'm really close to finishing another uh, liquid highlight so you know my goal is to have three cream slash liquid cheek products of each category so basically three highlighters or, oh my god three liquid highlighters three uh, liquid slash cream bronzers and three liquid slash cream blushes for highlighters i i think i'm at my limit for bronzers i could uh, buy another one because i only have two and for blushes yeah i'm at my <laughs> limit or i think i'm even over my limit so i just need to use some stuff up uh but yeah this is basically just you know a, a list of products that i would like to try out um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't just too boring i'm just so excited about these cream products that you know i wanted to share it with you if i should if or if i missed anything in my list that you think i should try out then leave it in the comments down below because uh yeah if it looks juicy and if it looks natural uh, uh or if the consistency or texture is unique I probably will add it to my list so yeah if you think I should try something out then uh, let me know and yeah I will check it out but yeah that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye Mwah.